The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, has been demonstrating new technology for fixing and refueling satellites in space. NASA calls the initiative the Restore L project and has awarded a contract to Space Systems Laurel to develop and build a robotic spacecraft. John Chelly, president of SSL, says the Restore L project will help make next generation satellite servicing a reality. Chelly says, this mission will be a breakthrough in the way we think about satellites in orbit, which previously could not be touched after launch. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs says there are currently 4,256 satellites orbiting Earth. Many of these satellites are no longer operational, either because they've run out of fuel or have developed some sort of malfunction. Such eventualities cost companies involved in the space industry billions of dollars, and they have to keep launching new satellites, which adds to the clutter around the Earth. The Union of Concerned Scientists says that of the 4,256 satellites in space, only 1,419 are operational. This means there is a growing amount of man-made space junk floating around just above Earth's atmosphere. If there was a way to fix the defunct satellites while they are in orbit, an entirely new business sector within the space industry would be created. According to the Satellite Industry Association, satellite manufacturing revenues increased 4% from 2014 to 2015 to reach $16.6 .6 billion. During the same period, revenues for satellite services also increased 4%, only to a much larger amount, $127.4 billion, driven by continued growth in satellite television, satellite broadband and Earth observation services.